tell me why you're here and why it was important for you to come back and be a part of this today. Really, uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. I was a Boys and Girls Club kid growing yeah. up, so I understand the work that they do in the community and just providing a safe haven for kids to come and um, so many productive activities that go on and, you know, that's the Rise Above Smart Girls pro program and what they're doing today. So speaking to a group of young ladies, <laughs> a group of smart girls, um, they're really excited here that, you know, commit to um, extracurricular work through this program, mm -hmm. um, through the Boys and Girls Club. So it's so awesome to be here today. So just sharing a little bit of my experience and uh, being able to come home in the Midwest, uh, 45 minutes down the street, mm -hmm. but not too far, and uh, talk to the community, especially being a part of the Boys and Girls Club, I felt like was important. So. Sure. When they offered me the opportunity to come out here, I, I absolutely said yes. What's uh, your message to these young ladies going to be today? Really just three main things. Um, just understanding being yourself and everything that comes with it. I think that's an important message to share with, with these young ladies. Um, they're already doing so much academically and, uh, you know, uh, through this program teaching life skills. And um, so just encourage them to continue to push themselves. And I think finally surrounding yourselves by positive people and mentors, which I think these young ladies are doing a great job of, just reminding them that. And um, yeah, just continuing to push themselves. So being themselves, pushing themselves, and surrounding themselves by positive people and just having fun. You know, I don't want to make it super formal. I want yeah. it to be fun. I want to interact with the kids. So um, I'm excited. Fun to be back home, close to home? Yeah, oh yeah. And I've been, <laughs> I, I can't, we came from South Bend, yeah. so I'll, I'll be able to, to visit some family, to, to, you know, see my parents and, uh, you know, to, Enjoy the new and forever building in Notre Dame I know, and South right? Bend and the roundabout city now. <laughs> have you have you been in around campus and seen yeah, some of the yeah, stuff? Oh yeah, it's crazy. I feel like I've been gone. I, I officially haven't played with anybody on the Notre Dame women's basketball team anymore. So now I, I know, feel right? so old. <laughs> <laughs> I know you still watch them though. They're all. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll I talk to you about uh, that. They're, I mean, having open practice today. So you're gonna be there? Yes, yeah, so I'm. A, I, I might. I might be able to make Pop it out if, uh, <laughs> if I have time after this. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to be here. And, and every time I get to come home, and especially for something like this, it's fun. Uh, let's talk about basketball. You just wrapped up your fourth pro season mm -hmm. already. I'm just curious how you feel about how your career has gone so far. I just can't believe it's four years. <laughs> um, I definitely would say I have my ups and downs, sure. but I love playing. I love playing the game, and uh, my passion for the game is is. is is as high as it's ever been you know I'm just I can't wait to get back next year and, and get right back at it I love the city of Dallas I live in Dallas now mm -hmm. so love the city I love the people the fans were amazing so obviously we didn't finish how we wanted to finish and I didn't really perform how I wanted to perform but um, I'm excited to be back in the gym and back training and, and just getting ready for next year so it's a blessing being in the WNBA mm -hmm. though I mean you sure. win you lose you have ups and downs and I think it's just all about I get to play the game, right. and that's what I love. So, was it hard for you to get used to the fact that you're not going to win every game <laughs> like you guys used to? <laughs> well, uh, I think in the WBA, it's, it's you're playing with the best, right. the best in the world. So, night in, night out, no team is having a rebuilding season like college or graduated seniors. It's like, no, these women are coming back every year, mm -hmm. and it's the best in the world that you're competing in night, night in and night out. So, to be mentioned with some of those names, to to be able to compete against those women, that's who you want to compete against is is the best. So. Uh, it's been fun in WNBA, and 20 years this year was, was a special one. Yeah. How long do you see yourself playing basketball? I don't know. People ask me that all the time. What's, what's the next steps, or how long do I see myself playing? And I just want to enjoy the experience and listen to my body, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, enjoy the experience. And I think staying home and not playing overseas for a few years has really helped my body, and then I tear my ACL. Um, but <laughs> just, I think having that rest and that break this year um, and, and not really going overseas or doing anything, um, just working on my game and stuff like that really helped sure. me in the health realm. So just as long as I can stay healthy, but you know, I don't have to be 40 years old and still hooping. I think I'll be fine with uh, <laughs> <laughs> letting it go uh, after after you know, day seven, eight, seven, eight more seasons. When it's time. Yeah, yeah, when it's time. But who knows that? You know, it's so hard to say until you get to that point and you might want to keep playing. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now I'm just enjoying the experience. Basketball has afforded you a lot of opportunities off the court so far. We get to see some of them. What are, what are some of the other things you're working on professionally that, that interest you or that, that maybe will, will draw your attention down the road or maybe sooner? Um, it's, I, I really started doing some, some studio stuff. Like uh, singing or? No, 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 or? no, 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 no. Studio, uh, sorry, uh, sports. <laughs> sports, co not commentating, but a studio analysis. And Taking my job. Start doing, no, no, yeah. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to be like you guys. I had great examples growing up. Um, but maybe 
acting realm, yeah. maybe coaching, getting into that realm. And, you know, obviously I continue to do speaking engagements mm -hmm. and travel and, you know, do different things with different brands that I work with. Starting right. my camps again. So Shoot for the Sky Camp Season 3 is starting. So people can go online to shootforthesky.com and sign up. We'll be in the Midwest a lot this year, mm -hmm. um, starting on the 12th of November in Chicago. Nice. So I hope that, you know, people can, can have an opportunity to check that out if they're interested. And uh, But, yeah, for me, it's just I never know what I'm going to do the next minute. Um, I like to say I, I, I plan, but I think it's opportunities that come, and I say I want to try it, but I'm just living my life right now and getting married next year, so I saw planning it. a wedding, so I'll be doing that in off season. Thank you. So I'm just really happy where I'm at right now, and then obviously being able to travel the world and really just share my passion of basketball and life skills with, with, with kids. Was, uh, was signing with Rock Nation good for you in terms of being able to, to broaden yourself outside of basketball, do you think? I think that Rock Nation is a mecca of pop culture when mm -hmm. it comes to you got sports, and you got fashion, mm -hmm. got music, and the list goes on and on. Uh, you know, social media influence and what have you. Um, and for me, it was just a perfect match because yeah. there are other in things I'm interested in mm -hmm. other than basketball. And there are fans that may not be fans of basketball that also follow me. So I think having just a group that works hard towards what you're passionate about, it's really worked out for me. So you mentioned you got engaged. We saw some of the photos uh, on Twitter. T tell me how, how he did it. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's really creative and he's really artsy. Uh, but so he, he uh, proposed to me in an art gallery. So he actually had a, a piece that he made for me that was set up in the art gallery. It was closed down and, um, you know, he came in and I thought I was just looking at his piece. So we were taking pictures. He was a photographer there. I thought he was just taking pictures for his site. And he turned around and he proposed to me and <laughs> made the piece for me. And it was real special. Surprised? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was shocked. I mean, I knew we were eventually <laughs> yeah. going to get married and get engaged. But um, that moment was really special. So, you know, I love Daniel a lot. And, uh, two South Benders, mm -hmm. townies like they used to call us at Notre Dame, <laughs> uh, Notre Dame Domers, the list goes on and on, but uh, definitely excited about getting married next year. It's good being a townie. Oh, yeah. It works. Ain't it nothing works. wrong with that too. That's right. <laughs> um, you guys got a date picked and all that? Um, still working on that? I, I, I always say in the springtime, yeah. try to get done for the season because sure. you just never know when it starts, but we're excited. You thought about having a family or is that something that has to wait till after basketball or uh, how, how, how do you approach that? I think that? right yeah. now we're just being, ha we're just happy where sure. we're at together and just excited about the next phase and mm -hmm. moving to Texas and mm -hmm. planning our wedding. When you got into the WNBA, there were, Dev was in the league and there's maybe one or maybe, maybe Natalie was in the league, but there weren't a lot of Notre Dame players in the league and now they're, they're starting to be and you guys aren't just playing, you guys are elite players and starters and you look at their team now there's more coming on the way is has that kind of become a a, a big a, a, a big kind of a association or a alumni to be a part of yeah, in I that think league? I think it's great when you get to go to different cities yeah. multiple cities you know now Indiana it was Indiana Minnesota Seattle San Antonio mm -hmm. Dallas, you know Tulsa everywhere but now it's Dallas Indiana Seattle and uh, San Antonio so we're, we're all we're all spread out but um you know it's just it's dope seeing women that you play with, that you grew up with, that you call friends and uh, family, just seeing them excel. And um, it says a lot about our example of what we have at, at Notre Dame and our program, how they just don't build you to be good for there. Mm -hmm. they, they prepare you for the future if that's what your aspirations are um, or not. You know, if you want to play at the next level, I think you leave there with the tools to, to really set you, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, just from the people like Coach McGraw, who's yeah. obviously one of the best in our in our game and in, in, in basketball, and then uh, having developmental coaches like Neil, Neil and uh, Beth and CO, the list goes on and on. So great staff there, great you know community, and I think that you'll definitely see a new wave of uh, WNBA players these <laughs> next few years. We uh, we see a, we see a game from time to time. You're obviously familiar with with their team still. Is this going to be a good year for them? Do you think? I think so. I think that after that exit last year right. in the Sweet 16 that so this team's going to be hungry and um, I think they're finding their identity right now and uh, they got a lot of uh, uh, experience coming back with Lindsey Allen and and Bree mm -hmm. so I'm excited to see that but then we also have new players that you know we want to see Jackie we want to see Aaron play so I'm excited about seeing them and Enrique and Marina being in their second year I think it's going to be exciting team to watch per, per usual. The other place we see you a lot is at Riley basketball games now yeah. watching little brother what's that been like <laughs> it's been fun you know it's so crazy like playing in the game and just like now seeing him and like I grew up him following after me and skills and mm -hmm. drills and I just want to 
John, like, do this. And I had to kind of control myself and bring him back and just say, Sky, this is his experience. Let him enjoy the experience. But I love being the fan of him. You know, you always see those clips of him coming to my games and things like that. But I love watching him play, as I do with, you know, all my siblings when they have things to do, being able to trying to support them. And um, I think it's so fun watching uh my dad's still coaching, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, Riley. So I, I, I've come accustomed to sitting at that top seat that my yeah. mom sits at. Out of the way. Out of the way. Don't want to hear nothing. Did you guys ever play? Me or, and my brother? Yeah. Or yeah, is we'll that play too competitive? And things like, but I, I'm the type, like, like, now I feel like he's getting to the point where he feels like he can he can beat me now. Yeah. So we haven't played recently. So I may, I may have to humble Junior later. <laughs> What's next for you? I don't know. You know, for me, like I said, I'm just happy where I'm at right yeah. now. Just continuing to try to work on my brand and, um, you know, work on my, my business and, yeah. and just continue to grow. And like I said, being back home and being able to do speaking engagements like this, I think this is what I'm passionate about and what I'm important. what's important to me is that next generation reaching back and, you know, trying to really show these kids that I'm a direct reflection of you. And mm-hmm. that's a big reason why I'm here today. So I'm excited. I've heard you say that before, like building your brand. What does that mean to you, and what is that? To me, for me, that's just the things that I'm passionate about um, outside, even with basketball, outside of basketball, just continue to grow, continue to uh, market myself and whatever I want to do, um, just trying it, just trying it. And for me, um, building my fan base across different platforms because of different things I'm interested in, um, continuing to, to open up myself outside of my comfort zone and, and try different things that I've maybe always wanted to try, but uh, never knew if I'd be good at them or not. And um, I think that's so crazy because that's a lot what I talk to these kids about is like doing everything, trying everything you want to try and sometimes just taking my own advice, but just continuing to, uh, and, and that's what it means to me is just building what I've been working on, everything that I've been working on from my book to my camps to um, basketball. I mean, you know, fashion, music, the list goes on and on, TV. Mm-hmm. So just continue to, to grow my fan base across different platforms, doing what I'm passionate about and having fun. Yeah, awesome. Well, it was good to see you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.